Hey, I'll come back to my class. This is a very easy question. We are asked to find the length AD. Well, we can get this done using the Pythagoras theorem because we can actually get AD by subtracting the value of A, the value of db from what ab let's get to it immediately now in this kind of question what do we do i'm going to first of all neglect this line here yes i need to neglect this line here and i'm going to concentrate on angle a b c so let me do that immediately so if i should concentrate on angle a b c now we have this place and this place this is the hypotenuse okay i'm running too fast first of all the pythagoras theorem states that if you have a right angle triangle yeah if you have a right angle triangle this longest side is called the hypotenuse okay the hypotenuse then let's call the remaining sides a b the pythagoras theorem states that a squared plus b squared d squared plus d squared is equal to the longest side squared that is what the, hypo the Pythagoras theorem states. So we are going to make use of this theorem to find the value of what we are looking for here. Okay? So first of all, like I said, we are going to ignore this particular line. That means I'm concentrating on triangle ABC. Let me just draw it very small. You know that my, my board is very small. So if I call this A, this B, and this C, this is 4 meters. This is a right angle. This is 6 meters. So I'm ignoring this particular one. This line, DC. I'm ignoring it for now. So using the Pythagoras theorem, I can easily get my line AB. Yes. How? Remember what I just explained. My line AB squared. Line AB squared. Right? Let me not. Let me do something like this. Line AB squared, this is line AB squared, plus this BC squared, that is 4 squared, is going to give us what? AC squared, that is 6 squared. Right? Yes. Now, line AB squared plus 4 squared will give us 16. Is equal to 6 squared is 36. Now, line AB squared, line AB squared is equal to 36. Then this plus 16, we cross over to become minus 16, right? Minus 16. Now, line AB all squared is equal to what? You are going to have 20 here. That means that if I want to get the value of AB, that is from here to here, it's going to be what? The square root of 20. Yes, because for me to get AB, I need to take square root of both sides. So if I take square root of both sides, I will have that my AB is going to be equal to square root of what? 20. Square root of 20 will give us 4.4721. So I'm going to write 4.47. 4.47 in centimeters. So it means that line AB from here to here, or from here to here, we give us what? 4.47 cm. All right. Now, we are going to concentrate on triangle DBC, okay, or BCD, anyone. So let's concentrate on triangle B, BCD. So if we draw it like this, this is our B, it's a right angle, this is C, this is D. We have five meters here. Okay, sorry, this is in meters. We have five meters here, and we have four meters here. All right, I can now get... Try, uh, I can now get line BD from here using the Pythagoras theorem as well. So how do we do that? This is our hypotenuse. So we know that this hypotenuse squared, that is 5 squared, right, is equal to line BD, the line BD squared plus the line BC squared. And BC is 4, so 4 squared, okay, using the Pythagoras theorem. Now we have that 25 is equal to line bd squared plus 16 because 4 squared is 16. now because we are looking for bd squared this 16 will cross over so that only bd will remain here okay so we now have that bd squared is going to be equal to 25 minus 16 because this plus 16 will cross over to become minus 16 so it's going to be 25 minus 16. all right so we are going to have that bd squared BD squared is equal to 25 minus 16 will give us 9. Yes, it will give us 9. Therefore, our BD will be what? Square root of 9. Square root of 9. 
which will give us what? Three meters. That means our BD is three meters. Okay? Now, remember that what we are looking for, what we are actually looking for is what? AD. This AD. And we can get AD from what? If we subtract DB from AB, okay? We are going to have this one remaining. DB, if we subtract it from AB. So we can now say that, um, but AD, AD, right? This AD is going to be equal to this whole AB, line AB minus line DB, line DB. This is B, okay? Now, what is our AD? That is what we are looking for. So line AD now is going to be equal to, line AB, we got AB as 4.47 meters. 4.47 meters minus 3 meters minus 3 meters so it's going to be what 1.47 meters if you followed me to this stage please this is the time you click on that notification bell and also click on the follow button so that you'll be notified anytime i come live or anytime i post in this channel thank you so much for watching and you have a great day